What's going on UFC fight fans? Today we're going to be talking about the ground game offensively. Now, in order to have a great ground game offensively, you have to know transitions, you have to know timing, you have to manage your stamina, and you have to know when to finish the fight on the ground with some ground and pound or when to go for that timely submission. Now, right here I'm going to be showing you guys some posturing up from different positions such as top mount, half guard, and I'm even going to show you some side control and saddle. Now, the thing about this is guys, when you're on the ground, you don't want to just spam the button left and right trying to figure out where to go. You want to look at the opponent's body and figure out from there where you need to go in order to have control. Now, let's get on up and move on to the next clip. Striking 101 consists of straights, hooks, hammer fist and those deadly elbows when you press on the modifier you can do this with either hand right or left and you can really take advantage of your opponent if you shoot for something that he doesn't expect now moving on to some nice little submissions man i told you guys in top mount you can do just about anything because you are in control now if you're looking at your opponent's stamina and he has very little stamina compared to you you really can have a very great advantage when it comes to submission now this right here is an arm bar very easy it takes quite a long time but i guarantee when they have low stamina you have the advantage now let's check out some half guard posturing up you can do the same exact strikes from this position as you did in top mount with either hand or you can go to side control and mix things up as well you could drop some elbows you could drop some hooks and you could just literally batter your opponent to a pulp you can even do some cross face hits it's it's a lot that you can do on the ground and i'm gonna tell you now for those people that are not privy to the ground you can really end the fight really really fast if you take it there now i want to show you guys what it's like in real game how the ground game works let's check it out nate diaz versus mcgregor now everybody knows that he has already won against mcgregor mcgregor already said hey i bow down you know i respect them i don't regret the fight but taking the fight to the ground is what nate diaz really wanted in the beginning and i'm going to show you here what it would look like the beating your opponent to a pulp on the top mount you now you see i'm only using hooks and then i switch it up to straights the reason for this is when a fighter blocks they're really blocking mainly hammer fists and elbows but those hooks can really get in there behind their guard sometimes and it'll really make for a fight now here we're gonna see what it's like to submit a guy i love submissions man for some reason they work much better on opponents when you're online and they really don't know what to do they don't know if you know they should try to get out if they should try to transition and by the time you even get into it they're already done for it because at this point they're losing their mind they're spazzing out and this is your chance to go for the submission so remember r is to stop them from getting out and when you hit that trigger l to the red that is for you to move into the next set of your submission make sure you remember that now you guys know that i love ultimate team you know this is going to be one of those modes that i play after career mode we created fighters and when i played against this guy online i noticed what he wanted to do and i said you know what why not take it to the ground here why not utilize what i know so right here we're going to go into top mount he blocks that so guess what we're going to go into half guard and back to top mount i got flipped don't worry guys if you get flipped it's all right you can get up and you can start over remember the ground game consists of two different things offense and defense and they basically go coinciding with one another it's not hard at all so i take him back to the ground i'm in half guard i try to get him to top mount get my top mount and you can see that he's fighting me he does not want to get submitted he does not want to get pounded but guess what no matter what he does it's gonna happen your boy is great at the ground game i do what i do i take his back here and i lay some hits now you may notice that my stamina is depleting a lot but i will lay off of him for just a moment just to make sure i get enough stamina back now i try to transition to get him back to back flat it didn't work he flipped back over and now we're back into half guard now he puts me in full guard but i fight back to half guard and back to top mount now i posture up i ball my fist up i hit him in his guard he puts me back it was a nice block, but look at me. I'm managing, guys. You have to manage your stamina. If you don't manage your stamina, it's going to get ugly for you because if they decide to flip you over, if they have an advanced move, it'll get ugly. So 
right here. I catch him, and this time he's down and out. That hook got past his guard, and it's all over, ladies and gentlemen. That right there is how you utilize the ground. Remember, top mount is key. Half guard, not so much. But if you get the top mount or the back, you can easily finish the fight via submission or via knockout. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot. Remember, go to practice mode and definitely play online to hone your skills. This is your boy IKC signing out. Make sure you like the video and holler at me later.